Having grown up in different places, I often find myself longing for one place to call home. And this is something that has actually brought a lot of pain and confusion and suffering in my life. But I've learned recently that actually home isn't or it doesn't have to necessarily be linked to a place, but it's more of a feeling that you carry within you and that you feel with certain people. It's like you carry your own roots and you choose where to plant them. Even though I never lived in Venice, it does hold that sense of home. My dad's side of the family is from Venice. My grandma has lived in Venice for so many years and my dad recently moved back. And every time I visit, I just allow myself to be in the moment and really take in all the magic that Venice offers you in every corner. This time I was in Venice for my cousin's 18th birthday and it was such a beautiful party and I didn't have much time to film but I chose to just film some of the snippets that for me feel magical when I am in Venice. And so this today's video is going to be shorter and I hope that you can feel that feeling that Venice offers, that magic. And I'm also going to share with you one of my absolute favorite recipes and it's actually a secret tiramisu recipe. So here we go. You take three eggs and you separate them from the yolk and the white in two different bowls. Then you add in the reds um, three big spoons of sugar. And as a trick you add a couple of drops to, of lemon to the whites and you begin whipping them until they're hard and firm. In the meantime you have put your coffee on and when it's done you put it in the bowl, set it aside and put some sugar. And you get to your reds and you begin whipping them. So it's the reds and the sugar together. And when they form the cream you add in mascarpone which is this creamy, cheesy, uh, incredible, magical <laughs> cream and you whip it again and then you add in the whites that you previously whipped and very carefully you mix with a wooden spoon making sure that you're not defluffing the whites and that's it now you're ready to begin creating your tiramisu so you make a layer of the cream at the bottom and you take your cookies they're called savoyardi and you dip them in the coffee and you begin making layer by layer, just like this. And when you're done, you put it in the fridge and you wait for, I would say, five to 10 hours. If you're able to do it the day before, it's even better the day after. Then you add cocoa powder on top and there you go, ready to be served. I will leave the recipe down below. And if you do try it, leave me a comment letting me know how it is and how it goes. Thank you for watching, sending you all my love and see you very soon.